Well, first tonight, anger over some body camera video of a recent shooting. The family of Roderick Brooks meeting with Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez today. Brooks was fatally shot by a deputy after reports of a shoplifting incident July 8th. Fox 26's Sherman Dizelle spoke with the family who says what they saw was confusing. Before Roderick Brooks is laid to rest tomorrow morning, his family spoke with Fox 26 about what happened in this meeting with HCSO. They say they're not asking for much, just full transparency about what happened. There's something wrong in Houston. You know, you gotta, you know how they say, Houston, you got a problem? We have a problem. Demetria Brooks Glaze says she's angry with what she saw at the sheriff's office. Body cam footage from Sergeant Garrett Harden, the deputy who fatally shot her brother, Roderick Brooks, on July 8th in Northwest Harris County. She says what she watched doesn't add up. When we seen Roderick in the opt after the autopsy, he had lacerations to the right side of his face. The video showed no fighting. Why would you show a grieving family your color commentary version of spliced up uh, aspects of the footage? That's insulting. Family attorneys say they were shown two versions of the footage, one that was edited with commentary from a commanding officer describing the incident, and another version the sheriff's office told them was the raw, unedited version. Roderick's supporters are now having a hard time believing what they saw was factual. In the initial report, Sheriff Gonzalez says after Sergeant Harden pursued Brooks over shoplifting at a nearby store, a physical struggle over the taser between Brooks and the veteran deputy is what led to the shooting. In the unedited footage, you can hear the officer say after the shooting occurred, oh, Roderick was able to take control of my taser. In the unedited footage, you see him place the taser in front of Roderick and he relinquishes control of it while he's getting his service weapon to shoot him. There's also video moments after the shooting from an eyewitness the family says shows contradictions in the investigation. They also have a hard time believing Roderick tried to fight, saying he was not a violent man. Now they say they're preparing to fight for him. But now it's on us. We got to do it. So again, we didn't know the sheriff department would execute people. They're supposed to protect us. As of tonight, we're still waiting to hear from the sheriff's office on if and when this body cam footage will be released to the public and the status of the investigation. Sherman DeSalle, Fox 26 News.